So this is some real like dope dealer shit, Aries um, or first house cross watcher. This is basically saying that you invested in someone new that you may have come across. This is glimpses of the full moon eclipse at the beginning of the month in April at the time of this recording, 2024. You, you're noticing who you're investing in, new to you, new characters coming into your life. And they're like, damn. Like, they're weighing that shit. Like, they're like, you know, fuck me running. Trying to, like, you know, burn the clarity and, and, and see how pure your shit is here. Uh, shout out to that scene in that movie below. If you know, you know. Um, high priestess here that's you you're like yeah I know you, you're like I know I got that good shit um, so good in fact that it's going to prompt you to want to come out of this third party situation um, now I wanted to draw more cards but remember everything happens in a fractal in reality and in tarot and storytelling so no need to because the beginning, middle, end of this story, I'm telling you guys, is actually embedded here. Um, this is the beginning, this is the middle, this is the end, these two. But what we're essentially getting is the three of cups points to the two in the upright offset by the ace in the upright. That leaves you with another ace in the upright, meaning now this person is going to come to you to confirm that. And don't be surprised if you start seeing signs of them you know real recognize real so them coming to you and being like you know hey fill me up with your loving type so now that's one way of reading this but another way of reading this is also four cups in the reverse people are at kind of emotional um, transitory points in their life here and that Four in the reverse, similarly to how I um, got the two in the upright offset by the one here, because again, the three in the reverse points to the two in the upright minus the one, right? This ace cup in the reverse, that leaves you with the ace cup in the reverse, that's them coming to you. Four cup in the reverse, you can do the same thing, points to the three in the upright. So y'all are going to find this kind of new romance here. Um, shout out to the 11th, there could be something special that happens on the 11th of this month. Um, excuse me, I said, yes, I, I, it's March, okay, I said what I said. Um, Libra energy here, this is water sign energy, traditionally Pisces, also shouts out to Cancerian Capricorn energy here. Um, anything else here, Spirit? So we are also channeling the numbers 13. Okay, 13 is death, so if you experience a little bit of a death here, dark night of the soul, don't worry. Um... The 13 adds to, well, one, 13 is the symbol of Ophicus. Ophicus is the serpent climbing the staff, and that is the symbol for resurrection. So death is just a step in the resurrection, which I believe you will experience, especially this full moon is in what? Not only an eclipse, but it's an eclipse in Libra. So Libra is all about relationships. This is Libra energy as well, okay? And this is definite fucking moon energy or high priestess part part uh sorry for cussing um so we're dealing with 13 being death but it's also resurrection it's built in the one and the three it's ophucus ophicus the snake climbing up the the rod so that's the resurrection of possibly your love life because libra is personal re relationships a lot of romance energy with this three of cup in the upright uh very exciting special time here um, and then, like I said, the full moon illuminates that in Libra. So that's what's being illuminated. This new kind of, um, for all you, you know, being such a good uh, boy or girl here. And that's also what's being uh, cosmologically evaluated as well. Um, and you're like, pay up. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to leave it there. Holler for more.